Well, Mehmet Ocha is the chairman of the London Energy Club and a former diplomat. He's joining us live now from Nice in France. Mehmet, will Turkey really block the accession of these two states or is this just a negotiating position? Well, if you ask the Europeans, they think that Turkey is doing this to extract some political concessions. But I believe that since President Erdogan has doubled down his insistence on opposing Swedish and Finnish expansion of NATO. And I think there is a legitimate concern expressed in Ankara. And I don't think that the NATO allies clearly understood what he meant. They think this is a bargaining chip. Because what Turkey says in terms of support to PKK, YPG, as well as uh, arms ban, arms sanctions against Turkey because of his operations in Iraq and Syria, are unacceptable to Ankara. That's the only platform, a security platform, where Turkey is such a powerful ally, second most important military nation in NATO after the United States. So that's an opportunity to raise it. But in Europe, there is a concern because they believe that in the face of Russian aggression, NATO alliance should be in solidarity and standing together. And since also Sweden and Finland perhaps will be threatened by Putin, they expect Turkey to join efforts. I believe that at the end of the day, if Turkish security concerns will be accommodated by Stockholm and Helsinki, Ankara will not exercise its veto power because without Ankara's consent, it cannot go ahead. But we are in such an international juncture that Turkish obstruction, if it continues, that's going to deepen and widen the rift between Turkey and NATO. I believe that tomorrow's meeting in Washington, D.C., between Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu, Turkish foreign minister, and also Tur uh, the U.S. Secretary of State, will be critical in this regard. I believe that some sort of compromise will be achieved at this meeting so that the road will be opened for Nordic expansion of NATO. Otherwise, it Ankara will continue to obstruct the uh, NATO expansion to Sweden and Finland. I don't think it's a joking or bargaining chip. It's a very serious matter. And also, it was very disturbing to hear what Finnish foreign minister said. We are not going to bargain with Turkey. It's not about bargain, but respecting security, legitimate security concerns of a major NATO nation. They have to understand this but as Mehmet, well. Let me put to you some words from Sergei Lavrov, the... Uh, Russian foreign minister today, who said, when asked in a television interview, that the two states joining would be no big deal. And yet, the expansion of NATO is exactly what President Putin did not want to happen. Yes. Actually, he provoked that. If there was an aggression against Ukraine, before that to against Georgia and Transdiniester, perhaps, and perhaps risking Kazakhstan, and such a uh, expansion in NATO will happen. So Putin actually has provoked to what he most feared. And in the face of that, I think NATO will expand. I don't think that Turkey will stop it at the end of the day, because they will find a solution. We are a NATO member, NATO member country, quite an important member. And I don't think that we are going to disrupt the NATO alliance or solidarity at the end of the day. But they have to respect Turkish concerns. You cannot impose an arms embargo on a fellow or future fellow NATO member nation or harbor some terrorist elements that live in your country. Therefore, this is uh, what's going to happen. Mehmet Ochu, thank you very much indeed for joining us from Nice in France.